Remember this. The word produces faith for what it promises. You want to grow spiritually. You want to endure. You're going to need more than the verse of the day. You want to be here five years from now? You're going to need more than Instagram real preaching. I love when you share my content, but if you're not in the word for yourself, it's shallow. See, see, we don't like to be told of discipline. We want to say, preacher, lay hands on me. Cast it out. I can't cast you out of you. <laughs> you have to deal with you. This is why preacher, this is why people, they have itching ears. They want to hear preaching like, oh, Christians can be demon-possessed. Christians can be oppressed. You know why they want to believe that? Because it's much more difficult to hear that you have a problem with discipline. People want to blame the devil. You realize that most of what people blame on demons and curses and spiritual warfare is actually the result of an undisciplined flesh? I'd rather be told, lay hands on me, make my problems all go away, and you want me to get rid of in five seconds what it took you decades getting yourself into. People of the word are spiritually mature. People of the word are firmly established. People of the word are not swayed by every opinion that comes along. You want to get spiritual? You want to really grow your roots? You need to get in the word. If I say it a thousand times, I'll say it a thousand more. The word, the word, the word, the word. You need the word of God. No, really think about it. If I go to the doctor and I haven't been sleeping or eating or taking care of myself, and I go there and I say, doctor, I feel just so tired, I feel so hungry, I get sharp pains in my stomach, my body is fatigued. The first thing they ask you is about your sleep patterns and your diet. Why? Because you can eliminate so many problems by simply doing the basics. And the problem is that many believers aren't doing the basics. They come and they say, I'm having warfare, I'm having issues, I'm having trouble, this is happening in my marriage, this is happening in my relationship with my children, this is happening in my finances, and they neglect the word, and because they neglect the word, they have the results of foolishness. <laughs> Brother David, I don't know what to do. Open your Bible. <laughs> Brother David, I want to hear from God. Open your Bible. Brother David, I want to grow spiritually. Open your Bible. You need the word. Christians should know the Bible better than anyone. The problem is that I've met more atheists who know the word than Christians. We talk about loving Jesus. We talk about knowing God. We talk about growing spiritually and then neglect the word. Don't tell me you don't have time for the word when you're caught up on your latest Netflix series. <laughs> don't tell me you don't have time for the word when you sit there watching YouTube for hours. <laughs> don't tell me you don't have time for the word when you took some BuzzFeed quiz on what type of bread you are. <laughs> and if you actually don't have time for the word, rearrange your life to get into the word. It's not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it. If you're eating little snacks, how are you supposed to take this journey ahead? How are you supposed to be rooted? How are you supposed to identify the lies of the enemy if you don't know the truth of the word? It's time to get into the word. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.